So one of my favorite things to do during earnings is not to necessarily trade a stock before earnings, but to trade it after. There's a lot of volatility that presents itself, so it could cause an overreaction on the way up, on the way down, and then for the following uh, kind of like either day or hours, it either tries to recover or it ends up selling off. And let me share with you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So PLTR was one of the stocks that I shorted yesterday. If you watched my video yesterday, um, I didn't trade or buy PLTR before it reported earnings. I waited for it to report earnings. It reacted. And then once it began selling off, I opened up a short position and I made $12,000 shorting it. So feel free to watch yesterday's video. You can see it. Um, I actually think during yesterday's video while I was filming it, I had an open short position and it shows that I was up about like eleven dollars or $12,000. Ended up closing the day at $12,000. Today, I'm not up 12K. Again, I don't make $12,000 every single day just by trading. Uh, but nonetheless, I still made $2,000, uh, 2400 to be exact, within 12 minutes. Uh, and again, this is the part that I love about trading is when it's efficient, right? What ended up happening is the first thing is PLTR is a descending stock. It's a stock that's selling off. That's kind of the sentiment that it has today because it reported earnings and its guidance was worse than what was expected. The earnings was actually good. The guidance for 2024 was not what Wall Street wanted. So when it ran up quickly right at market open, it then started forming uh, and showing signs of lower highs. Pretty much, again, it's a descending pattern. So when it runs up, you can kind of assume that it's going to get rejected because the sentiment for today is bearish. So once it ended up showing signs of getting rejected, I opened up short and again, added more to it when it broke below the moving average, when it broke below the EMA. And then when it returned back to previous lows of where it was, you know, right when the market opened, I took profits, literally 12 minutes. I honestly think, I mean, it was 12 minutes after the market opened. Uh, it was all caught during today's live trading session. And if you want access to today's live, I would love for you to see of what it takes to be able to short a stock successfully. And I did it in front of my LPP team. Again, it's not a crazy day. It's $2,400, but I'm still very grateful for it. It was a very efficient trade. Um, direction was in my favor. We waited for confirmation and then I added more when direction was in my favor. And then I took profits um, based off of previous lows. Obviously, it ended up selling off even more. Well, guess what? I'm not perfect. I can't predict the future. So my focus was just to take profits uh, based off of previous lows. Now it's beginning to indicate signs of recovery and we'll see. We'll see if it ends up becoming overbought once again and then it ends up selling off. I would love to short this again if the opportunity presents itself. The other one that again is very similar to this is I had a very, very small position on this and I got in relatively pretty late, but uh, this one was brought up to me uh, during today's live session. It gapped up after reporting earnings. Uh, this was yesterday after market hours and it was brought to my attention today. It was showing signs of resistance. I wish I would have uh, been aware of this a little bit earlier. It was up like 12 or 13%. And then once it got rejected, we got that nice little sell signal. It actually broke below the EMA line and actually began selling off. That was nearly a 10% drop. And that's the thing, right? I didn't make a ton of money. But this is the whole reason I'm making this video is to emphasize you don't have to buy a stock before it reports earnings to make money because you have a 50 50 chance of making money but guess what you can always wait for it to report earnings and and stay patient and i know it's hard but guess what when the opportunity presents itself kind of like it did today right if it's an overbought stock then we begin to see some selling pressure and this doesn't always happen but then if you see the lower highs and the lower lows forming you see some pullback potential you can make money as it sells off by shorting it this one offered nearly 10 percent. i wish i would have caught this one earlier but again my focus was more on pltr because this one was still showing signs of lower lows and lower highs so um yeah i mean we, we've seen this happen uh, even with stocks that sell off and then the following day they end up recovering. And I think that's the beautiful thing about trading nowadays is that you don't have to predict the future. You can always just prepare for the next move. So if there's an overreaction on the way up, you know, you can potentially prepare to go with it. Or if you see some pullback potential and it's already showing signs of resistance, then to be able to make money as it sells off. Or if it's oversold and it sells off and it begins to show signs of a recovery, then again, that's the beautiful thing about trading is that you can buy some and then make money as it begins to recover and then take profits just in case it continues to sell off later on down the road. But again, overall, very grateful for how today played out. One of the things that I want to remind you is Today, the main focus that I have is Reddit. Reddit is going to be reporting its first earnings ever since being included in the stock market. And it's something that I'm really looking forward to. As of right now, Reddit, out of all the stocks that are reporting, is pretty much trading sideways. I mean, at one point, it had highs of around 70, right? 
what is that? $70 per share. It pulled on back to lows of 37. And I'm excited to see, is this thing going to aggressively sell off or is it going to take off based off of how it actually reports its quarterly earnings? And it's going to be reporting after the market closes today. So I'm very excited to follow up. So you guys let me know down in the comment section, what do you think about um, that overall setup? Are you someone that likes to buy before a stock reports earnings? Or are you someone that would like to entertain the idea of waiting for a company to report earnings and then you trade the reaction after? Because again, direction and your um, direction ends up being more clear. So I hope that earned your thumbs up. Again, if you want access to today's live session, just shoot me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram. And that's all linked in the description down below asking for today's live session. And I would love for you to get a taste of what the LPP team gets to experience every single day. And again, if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's that second link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.